Hey guys, it's Chris. From scary monsters from the deep to creatures that seem to be monsters from legends and more, join us as I show you nine of the weirdest creatures to ever wash up on a beach. Number nine, Smooth Skate. Maria Lombard found something rather odd looking near a beach in New Zealand. She saw a serpent-like sea creature skeleton washed up on the shore. And despite her knowing a lot about animals since she's a veterinarian, she didn't know exactly what this creature was. The being in question was thin and was over 2.2 meters in length, and its head was one that didn't have the usual shape of a skeleton. Wanting to get at least some answers, she brought in an expert to consult. Specifically, she sent pictures to him, and the scientist replied that what she found was a New Zealand sea skate, specifically a smooth skate. The skeletal remains that she found were the creature's vertebrae in its brain case, which is what happens after the creature dies. Its body dissipates, and the things Maria found were what remains. Smooth skates are known to live in deep waters, usually hovering around 800 meters below sea level. Thus why Maria didn't recognize the species easily. It does make one wonder how it got onto the beach though, because it would have needed to be caught in the waters much closer to the surface to end up there. We'll likely never know the truth, but at the very least, she'll recognize one now if she sees a second one on a beach. Number 8. Beached Whales It may not seem strange that a beached whale washes up on a beach, mainly because it happens so much more than you may realize. Some even get so bloated due to decomposition that they actually explode on the beach. However, how this happens at all is one of the biggest mysteries of the ocean, because no one can really say how and why the whales end up on the beach so far inland. Think about it like this. Whales are massive creatures weighing numerous tons and are sometimes over 100 feet long. Yet despite their size, they end up on the beach, and sometimes after being saved, they'll actually come back onto the beaches for reasons unknown to science. If this was merely a case of dead whales washing up on the beach, that would make sense, but it's not. Most beached whales are alive, so how could a live creature of that size get tossed onto a beach? Scientists truly don't know how these happen, and that's why it's weird to many. Because when you think about it, it honestly shouldn't happen and yet it does, and in major numbers. Which is why many are trying to study this phenomenon, in order to try and figure it out, and potentially prevent it if possible. But the fact that it happens at all, and at such frequency, is very, very strange. And now for number 7, but first, be sure to subscribe and let us know if you've ever seen something weird on a beach in the comments below. Number 7. Mermaid Mermaids play a major role in the mythology of the world, to the extent that many people believe they are indeed real, and have even launched real explorations into finding them and getting proof they truly exist. Add to that that there have been many stories of mermaids being found in one form or another, including in Scotland. In 1830, the town of Benbecula were enjoying some time on the beach when a woman saw something odd in the water. It was a miniature woman which is what Scots believe are the size of mermaids. The woman alerted her fellow townspeople about the sighting, and though they weren't able to get the mermaid, some kids threw rocks at it and apparently hit the mermaid in the head. Days later, the mermaid was found dead on the shore. She had a scaleless fish tail and generally looked like the local legends of mermaids. Feeling bad for what they'd done, the sheriff felt compelled to give it a burial right there on the beach. Here's where the twist comes in. No one can find the grave despite the story being told many times. That's not to say it didn't happen, but no one can find that gravesite. There are many explanations as to why this might be, including the water levels rising and washing the grave away, or the story just being a story. But many are hoping it's not, so this strange tale of a mermaid story could prove that they are indeed real. Number 6. Murray Y Monster in 2016, a man was walking down the beach of Murray Wai in Auckland, New Zealand when he discovered what he truly believed to be a monster. In fact, it would later be named the Murray Wai Monster. After word of the creature spread, scientists came down and took a look at what it was. They revealed that it was something unexpected. It was driftwood, a rather large piece of wood that was covered in gooseneck barnacles to be precise. There is a reason for this unusual fusion, if you will. This particular species of barnacle is known as Lepas anatifera. It lives via attaching itself to objects underwater. They do this in massive colonies and then eat by using the tubes that their bodies have to filter feed. The tubes can grow up to 31 inches long. 
which was part of the reason people felt the barnacle colony was a monster, because of all the tendrils wriggling around, when in fact it was just the creatures trying to eat. But there is one more twist to this tale, because you might wonder, well, how did this wash up on shore? That would be because the large piece of wood was underwater with the barnacles, and a local earthquake caused it to move towards the shore. Number 5. Oarfish While not the most efficient way of learning about new creatures, sometimes the ocean washes up a being that scientists had no idea existed, which is exactly how we came to learn about the oarfish. This is a large fish that's the largest bony fish alive that we know of. The largest one ever discovered was 36 feet long. The irony, though, is that despite the evidence being right in front of them, many scientists felt it was still a hoax. Because how could a creature like this truly live in the ocean? After being proven, it was studied heavily, and some feel it's the origin of sea serpent legends. And this could be true because they can be found in places like China, and it's possible they're in other areas too. The reason that this discovery was so important, though, was that though it was found, they usually live in deep waters. So to wash upon the shore is a rare thing indeed. Scientists believe that they live at nearly 3,000 feet below sea level. In regard to how they wash up on the shore sometimes, that's because at the depths of the ocean, things are much calmer. But get closer to the surface and you have tides and currents pulling you every which way. Thus why they end up on beaches because they're almost literally dragged there after they die. Number 4. The Philippines Hair Blob in 2018, an entity was found on a beach in the Philippines, and no one could tell what it was or what it wasn't. It was blob-like, and just as odd, it had a lot of hair on it. As if that wasn't strange enough, it was revealed to be over 20 feet long. People in the area looked upon it and saw it as an omen. It had been told that when creatures from the deepest parts of the ocean start appearing, something bad will happen. Vincent Della Pena de Billo told The Sun on Sunday. Samples of the creature were sent to a lab for identification, which was a smart thing because globsters, as they're called, have been seen all over the world in various nations and not just the Philippines. It was revealed, though, that it wasn't a monster but rather a decomposed whale. Though some of the others have never been fully identified, they are believed to be decomposing whales, squids, and other deep-sea creatures. As for the hair of the creatures that people love to talk about, those are the remains of the muscle and fiber tissue that's within the creatures, a natural byproduct of the decomposition process. Number 3. Sea Monsters of New Zealand on a New Zealand beach known as Bay of Plenty in 2013, a carcass of a sea monster appeared. The creature was in a very decomposed state, which revealed massive teeth that further cemented it as a monster, which was added upon by the 30 feet in length of the creature. In regards to the teeth, there were over a dozen very long and very sharp teeth in the mouth, which seemed to point to this creature being a powerful predator of some type. Marine mammal expert Anton Van Helden eventually revealed the truth. The decomposed creature was just a killer whale, which might be raising some questions in your mind, right? Like how killer whales don't really have teeth like that or resemble the creature in question, right? But recall, killer whales are on average about 26 feet in length and can grow larger at times. What's more, the killer whale has very sharp teeth as they're honestly apex predators of the ocean alongside things like sharks, which they tend to attack at times. The decomposed state led to its more natural features being muddled and not as recognizable. Number 2. Sea Pickles In 2017, a very strange epidemic hit the Oregon coastline. Mainly a group of creatures suddenly appeared on their beaches, with their numbers being in the millions. It was an invasion of sea pickles. Now, technically speaking, these creatures, also called pyrosomes, started appearing on the coasts of Oregon back in 2015. However, they weren't even close to the numbers they were here. So in a mere two years, the number of sea pickles multiplied quite exponentially, and no one is sure as to why it happened both in terms of the numbers and why it happened on this particular coastline. The multiplication of the sea pickles is somewhat attributed to the chilly waters the state's known for, as apparently the creatures like it more than the tropical waters where they're used to. While this may seem harmless, it was anything but. The unnatural numbers of these sea pickles put a strain on the local communities, mainly because their numbers hurt the local fisheries. They would clog things up as they would get inland and more. 
a fishing vessel unintentionally caught 60,000 pyrosomes during one of their trips. To give you a number, the size of these sea pickles can range from under 2 inches to over 2 feet, so imagine catching 60,000 of them in one go. Number 1. Sharks Without Livers Sharks washing up on shore is technically not unheard of, but ones that have visible harm done to them? Well, that's rare indeed. Such as in South Africa when a series of great white sharks came on the shores, but were missing their livers among other things. This was documented in the Western Cape Province, where over the course of a couple days in May of 2017, a set of four great whites were found dead on the beaches with their livers conspicuously absent. Many were confused by this because great white sharks are apex predators, and few ever mess with them including humans. Plus, why only take the livers and leave the rest of the fish? Eventually, the answer was revealed that these sharks had been picked clean by orcas. These whales are known to be rivals for sharks but aren't documented attacking great whites like this. However, researchers say that it's not unprecedented, and that the orcas are known to go after the livers of creatures when they hunt and kill. Other parts of the shark were missing too, including their stomachs at times and even their reproductive organs. How often this happens all over the world is very much a mystery, though it does paint a much different dynamic over who rules the oceans. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these strange creatures? Have you ever seen any of these creatures end up on a beach near you? Which of these do you find the most mysterious? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Worldlist, and I'll see you next time on the channel.